Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We, uh, I, it's been a quick minute since I played last time. I'm pretty sure we just did it out. Uh, and we should have talked to, yeah, we talked to Parthenax in the last part, uh, as well. So that'll be fun. And then, look, next thing we gotta do is head over to, uh, Whiterun, I believe? And talk to him, see if he'll do it. I think we have to finish the, uh, oh yeah, we grabbed the notched pickaxe last time as well. I think we have to finish the Civil War, Civil War quests in order to progress the main story here. Um, so if that's the case, I might jump on something else for a little bit. Uh, or I might just do the Civil War quests. I I'm debating on which one to do. But uh, yeah, either way. Does Lydia still have a million I've things in her back. inventory? Did I clear I that out last command. time around? I cleared it out. Okay, cool. Let's Good get stuff. going then. Nice. All right, yeah, let's get going. So, um, yeah, if that's the case, let's talk to the Yarrow White Run and let's see what he's got to say and see what we can work on in order to progress the main story. Still leveling up our uh, illusion, of course, so don't mind that too much. Oh, let me uh, actually let me put the audio down just a little bit. I had it a little bit high. Hopefully that isn't too loud for you guys. Alright. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. And yours as well. Um, I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. You know I wouldn't ask it if it wasn't important. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. Alright, um... Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon? According to legend. Although I never thought to put the tale to the test. Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor, and brought it back to Whiterun. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. Hmm. All right. Um, how can you protect right Whiterun against uh, or from the dragons? With good planning and constant vigilance. Even now, my court wizard, Ferengar continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. Alright, I know this is the, the thing we gotta do for the, the quest, but let's continue to talk to him just a little bit longer. Whose side are you on? If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. Alright, uh, why do you think Ulfric killed the High King? No doubt, he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also, because he knew he could. Alright, uh, I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? It's the only way to stop the dragon attacks. There must be another way. The risk is too great. The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. All do it. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I'm Dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? 
It's the only way to fight Alduin. Find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn, and I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Uh, leave that to me. I'll talk to Arngear about hosting a peace council. Get Greybeard's help in negotiating a truce. Hi, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Maybe. All right. Uh, let's. Uh, obviously, he's not ready now, for that yet. Don't mind. I've got sure do. I guess this is Numenex then, huh? All right. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I forgot about that actually. We, we can ne negotiate a truce. Um, obviously, if you do the civil war quest before um, this and just have one side win, then um, they'll be ready and no no problem. But uh, obviously, we can't do that just yet. Uh, we don't have any diseases active on us right now, do we? No, we don't. Okay, good. Just checking. All right, let me do a quick uh, sleep in my house so I get that rested bonus, and then we'll head over. Uh, Head over. We actually do have a level up though, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use that real fast. Let's put that back into health because we're just trying to be a little bit tankier. Um, didn't mean to go there. Let's see. Let's go over. How's restoration looking? Do we have anything else we can upgrade? I know I want to get this, but this requires 60 restoration. So that's going to be a little bit while. Oops. A little while. Didn't mean to go all the way back. Enchanting would be really uh, nice. Uh, we still got to level it up a little bit though. Smithing is going to be nice too. Two-handed, one-handed. Oh, we could do these now. While sprinting. Okay, this is really nice, yeah. Let's get this for sure. Savage Strike. Standing power attacks do 25% bonus damage with a chance to decapitate your enemies. Absolutely. Alright. Sweet. Um, we could also do, like, the companions quests and stuff as well. We haven't uh, sprung into there just yet, but it might be an option. Oh, whoops. I thought I had Warwind Sprint uh, <laughs> equipped. Apparently not. It's fine. Let's go ahead and equip it, though. Hopefully no one's mad at me for just shouting through them. I didn't hurt them, so it should be okay. Oh my gosh, I thought I thought that was a guard or something. I'm stuck. Lydia, move. Alright, there we go. Let's get uh, let's get our sleep in real fast. No, we don't have to sleep for long. It'll still give us all the bonuses. Father's love. We should also get a. Uh, should also get married, so that'll help out with some stuff too. But anyway, um, so yeah, let's go over to the Greybeards and talk to them, and uh, see what we can do about that season unending. All right, let's head back up to the throat of the world. Oh, shoot. Not the throat of the world. What am I doing? Obviously, they're just not going to be here. I need to go to High Hrothgar. He's probably out back of High Hrothgar, though. But that's okay. Let's get up there a little bit quicker with the whirlwind sprints. I like that it goes up. Oh, I heard them shouting in the background. I don't know if you guys heard that. Huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in the back here, so let's go ahead and head out there. Ah, here we go. He's chilling over here at the Whirlwind Sprint Gate. I haven't seen him over here very often, actually. It's kind of cool. Wow, it's a what a drop. That is quite a drop. Alright, anyways, um, what's up, Barn Gear? Aldwin? We heard the Dragon Ren shout from here. You defeated him? Yes, but he escaped. Escaped. I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. 
I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Jarl Balgruf won't help me with while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Alright, sounds good. Uh, are you ready? Where is Alduin gone, actually? The old tales say that he can travel into Sovngarde to devour the souls of the dead. You must find out how he does this before he regains his strength and returns. Alright. Uh, are you ready to host the Peace Council? Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. Alright, perfect. So yeah, let's, let's do that then. Um, let's do Season Unending. We've got to talk to both of these boys. Uh, Ulfric Stormcloak. We have not gone to Windhelm yet. I think we have gone to Solitude, though. So let's go ahead and go to Solitude first. Talk to General Tolius up here. See if we can convince him. <laughs> Sprint to get there a little bit quicker. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. You might want to rethink that. You're missing out on some wonderful opportunities working in that bar. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? What did you have in mind? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I'm listening. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. So you want me to put out the lighthouse fire? What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. What would happen to the sailors on the boat? Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. Setting up a wreck? I should turn you in to the guards. Turn me in? For what? What crime has been committed? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. A tragic and very, very profitable event. Yeah, I can't remember if um best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. I can't remember if uh you can actually like turn him in and kind of avoid uh, running like making that sure that ship runs aground. Uh apparently you can actually shoot those those hawks there and if you get them you can actually get the hawk feathers which is kind of cool. I actually never knew that <laughs> kind of interestingly enough. Um Bayrand is a little Little dude, actually, save the quest. There's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Uh, you make armor for the Imperials? It's almost all I have time for these days. The men training here in solitude, and the troops out in the field, they all need weapons and armor. You should look into joining. 
They could use every hand they can get. Yeah, maybe. You're pretty dedicated to the Empire, then. Uh, to be honest, no. But High King Torig supported them. And now, her Lady Elisif has thrown in with them. You could say I'm a king's man at heart. Hmm. I guess that's Jarl's man now. My loyalty lies with solitude. So, where Jarl Elisif leads, I follow. Alright, uh, have you considered getting out there and fighting? Oops, hmm. sorry, Blades. I hit the wrong thing. I think I would, if it weren't for my son and my wife. Oh, same I would have my hide if I even suggested I might step foot on a battlefield. You think storm cloaks and legionnaires are dangerous? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways. Return anytime you need arms or arms. Thanks, I appreciate it. Alright, uh, let's go in here. Heard informing the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Alright, uh, Castle Dower. Let's head inside. Huh? If you need potions, head over to Angeline's Aromatics. Alright. I'm telling you. Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawn Star, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruff. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside Something the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarl. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nord and everybody sense it all. Sir. <laughs> Alright, uh, General Tullius. Make it quick. I get enough delays from politicians. Let's talk. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? I believe we've already met. Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. I was set free. I could have gone anywhere. I came here to fight for the Empire. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Fine. Why don't you have a chat with Legate Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, that's not what I came here for, General and I have our disagreement. Speak with Legate Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. So, uh, I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council at High Hrothgar. Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. Let's see if our persuasion check works, maybe. Uh, what do we have as options here? Empire can't afford to snub the great beards. Have to negotiate from a position of strength. The storm, the dragons are a bigger problem than the storm cloaks right now. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the storm cloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Hmm. So that didn't work. Our persuasion must not, our speech must not be very high right now. <laughs> That's so fine. I didn't think so. Um.
the Empire can't afford to snub the Greybeards. Uh, you may have a point. I'm always surprised by how seriously the Nords take these things. You'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Sir. Alright, uh, there we go. So he's gonna come. Um, this is that one we got from that dude outside. I do want to talk to him a little bit more though. Don't worry, I'll come to this peace council of yours. Thank you, thank you. Oh, just kidding, I guess we can't. Don't worry, I'll come to this peace Alright, we'll talk with him more yours. later then. Uh, like it Talking up. peace with Ulfric? <laughs> you must be an optimist. <laughs> Okay, I guess we're locked out of being able to talk to them <laughs> for a little while. Optimism. That's fine then, I suppose. Uh, Alright, let's head back up then. Head over to Angeline's Aromatics. Angeline's Aromatics. Oh, your fancy magic someplace else. Sell off that Alright, uh, that's pretty much all we needed to do in Solitude right now. I guess let's head over to, uh, to White, or to, uh, Windhelm, rather. We do have Windhelm's stables, uh, discovered, so we'll head out up from there. Um, either way, that's gonna be it for this episode. Oh, let's talk to her real fast. That's what she's gotta say. If the guards would listen to Viola, they'd have caught the butcher by now. The butcher. Okay. Uh, yeah, we haven't heard about the butcher yet, but uh, don't worry, we will. Either way, uh, like I said, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna head into Weldman Helm. Uh, in the next part. <laughs> All right, peace.